Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be featuring 7 really cute and amazing mods you have to try. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're always notified whenever I upload. And I hope you enjoy this video! For the first mod, we have Flower Foxes. This mod adds cute and lovable foxes made of flowers. You can command them to sit and they can also help you fight. They grow from seeds, into pods, into babies, and then into adults. The seeds of foxes can be found in five different biomes which include the desert, where the seeds are most commonly found, as well as swamps, mountains, taiga, and mushroom biomes. Seeds grow into pods when bone mealed four times. They will grow into a baby fox when bone mealed one more time. The baby foxes are small and quite cute. They hatch from pods and will follow anyone holding bone meal and can be tamed using it. They have characteristics that show what biome they originate from, like the desert baby fox having a cactus on its tail. They can also be made to sit with a whistle. When you feed a bowl of flowers to a baby fox, it will grow up into an adult fox. The adults have characteristics that show what biome they were from. Just like the baby foxes, they can be made to sit using a whistle. The flower stew can be crafted with all the flower types and can be fed to baby foxes to make them grow into adults. Next, we have the Cluttered Mod. Cluttered is a decorative mod that adds a variety of furniture, blocks, paintings, and more. Everything this mod adds is craftable and can be obtained in survival. This mod has furniture from and inspired by games such as Animal Crossing, The Sims 4, Overwatch, and more. For the next mod, we have Shroom Dealers. This mod adds a bunch of mushroom traders that can be found across your world in their shroomy villages. You can trade with the dealers to get good stuff and sometimes some bad items. Each dealer has its own special item that it can trade you for a bunch of vanilla mushrooms such as brown or red mushrooms by right-clicking on them with the shrooms in hand. Vape Elite Dealer has a special throwing bomb that explodes multiple times. Jacketon Dealer offers a throwing smoke bomb to cover you from enemies and weaken them for a short time. Toadstool Dealers tend to be anxious around others, so don't get too close or you might get poisoned. However, they have poisonous starts that poison any hit enemy. Amethyst Deceiver Dealers have nothing to do with Amethysts except for their remarkable color, but what they do have to offer is a powerful Deceiver's power-up heart. After right-clicking it, it gives you similar effects to a golden apple. Next, we have the Witch Mobility Mod. This mod adds several kinds of broomsticks which you can use to travel around your world. It also adds witch hats to improve your broom skills and protect you like armor. Alongside all that, it also adds a witch suit. You can check your broom stats in your inventory to see data such as movement speed and rotation speed. For this next mod, we have Kawaii Dishes. This mod is heavily inspired by the Maid Cafe thematic. It adds new food sources and cosmetics. There are coffee plants that naturally spawn in the world that are similar in function to the sweet berry bushes giving up to 3 coffee fruit. There are coffees, ice creams, milkshakes, chocolate bars, candies, cheesecakes, cake slices, cookies, colored stools, mugs, glass cups, milkshake cups, coffee press and coffee machines, a blender, and an ice cream maker. It is recommended that you use the Just Enough Items mod with this mod to be able to see all the crafting recipes for the items added. 
There's also a barista profession for villagers with the coffee machine being the workstation. Villagers can buy and sell items from the mod and wandering traders can sell coffee fruit. The currently added cosmetics include bunny tails, ears and bunny girl suits, fox tails and ears, cat tails and ears, devil tails and horns, colored thigh highs, shoes, colored maid dresses and tailed variations, and colored headbands with eared and horned variations. Each set gives different effects. For example, the bunny set grants you jump boost 1 and no fall damage is taken. The fox set gives you speed 1. The cat set gives you neko 1 which pushes creepers away. The devil set causes piglins not to attack. And lastly, the maid set gives you kawaii 1 which gives you a chance to get a message. Next we have Suits Sandwich Croft. This is a mod containing many varieties of bread, cheese, sandwiches, and side dishes. It is strongly recommended to use the Just Enough Items mod or a similar mod for easily looking at sandwich and tool recipes. It would be hard to play without one of these added mods in survival. Starting out, you will need seeds which are gained from breaking grass and a salt pot which is crafted with a cauldron and campfire. This is for you to start the bread making process. Be aware the seeds will fill up your inventory fast, but they are compostable if you don't want to just throw out extras. Crops from this mod along with wheat will be needed for your sandwiches. Bananas and lemons are obtained the same way as apples are. Salt is made by right-clicking on the salt pot while holding a water bucket. This will use up the water and begin the process of salt making which will finish after one minute. You will get 32 salt per use. Also, be sure to craft a mortar and pestle as it is used for many things. It is made with three pieces of cobblestone and a wooden shovel. Baking bread is a three-step process consisting of kneading, proofing, and then baking. Once you have the ingredients for the type of dough you'd like to make and have crafted it, it will result in the flat version of the dough. You need to use the kneading board to prepare it for its next stage. All you need to do is put in the dough and press the knead button. After you knead your dough, the next step is to proof it in the proofing bowl. This takes a little time. Put in as much dough as you want up to a certain point and it'll proof the dough bit by bit. Once the dough has risen, you can bake it in combination with the pan and the bread oven. You'll also need fuel for the oven. After your bread is baked, you can slice it with the bread knife in order to eat it. For making your wheel of cheese, you'll need a cheese pot which is made with a bucket and a campfire, a flint and steel to light it, and the ingredients for your cheese of choice. Almost all cheeses will use a milk bucket, rennet, and salt. Most cheese you make will pop out of the pot as curds. With the cheese press and a crafting table, you can turn the cheese into its pressed form. Any pressed cheese that is in mozzarella will need to be aged in the cask. Simply place it into the aging cask and wait. Making sandwiches is as simple as slicing your bread and using the crafting table. Sandwich recipes can be found in the game's recipe book, provided they're unlocked, or with using mods like Just Enough Items. And for the final mod of this video, we have Bushier Flowers. This is a forge and fabric mod as well as a server-side mod that adds bushier variants to vanilla flower types. You can get multiple flowers inside one block with different models and offsets when you right-click vanilla flowers using bone meal. Grown flowers drop their respective vanilla flower when broken or bone mealed, and you can craft grown flowers into dye. Grown flowers can be mined with silk touch or shears to receive a bouquet. Grown flowers can also be used to pollinate and breed bees.